Samaji here. Holy TV. What's going on, guys? Combat and coffee this week. Well, I got combat and fruit. I got to keep it healthy. Looking to be discussing all things boxing. What's going on? Yo, 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 yo. We're going to be doing tier rankings today. We're going, we're, we're back. Right. It's so, what's your uh, ranking? We had a, a bunch. We've had a bunch of fights, right? So we're trying to approach it with the from a tier rankings perspective. See who we think where everybody, who we think where everybody stands. We've got a couple of other possible matchups. And what the hell happened to the heavyweights, guys? No heavyweights in this year. All right, Polly. All right. I see. I see. Yeah, I, I see. Elite. There's a. Oh, let's see. We got elite. We got great. We got solid, promising, mid, and washed. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm trying to get my audio right, right, right. quick. All right. We're going to start. Broner, where is he at? Um, uh, I mean, Broner's probably between mid and wash. It depends on, on a performance. Um, where he's going to be, uh, as far as the threat is going to be, we're not going to be able to tell until unless he fights. Somebody of a bit higher level. He got a win, so he's a solid name. But as far as uh, um, where his boxing is, it's a possibility he's watched. You know, I mean, we, we can only tell where uh, w- with another performance. So I don't know. I gotta see. I gotta see. I'm gonna be generous. As I know he'd be. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave him at uh, mid right now. Mid. All right. Um, coming up on that, AJ. He's kind of in a similar. And of course, that all depends. Of course, all these things depends on results as well. So. AB has a chance to uh, either prove me AB right. Be the AJ. AJ. Um, same. You know, I think uh, it's. I don't know. I hate the goal somebody just washed. You know, I, I, but I don't think AJ has a lot left. But of course, he's still in the position where he can get those fights just like AB is, and of course, he can prove himself to be more worthy. I say he's mid at this point. Bam Rodriguez. Oh. Ben Rodriguez is uh, very solid, um, promising to solid. I mean, he's solid, but at the same time, I think he's he's promising to po- possibly become great or even elite. You know, I think he's of that level. I really think he, <clears throat> I think he, he's one of the more impressive young fighters. <laughs> I'm choking on these strawberries. One of the more impressive young fighters <clears throat> in the sport. <laughs> David Benavides. Um. I think Benavides is elite, you know. I think there's a reason why Canelo is trying not to make that fight happen or at least wait it out. I don't think that's very smart of Canelo because Canelo is only getting older while Benin Benavides is coming more and more into a front at prime age. But nonetheless, I think Benavides at this point in time right now, he's elite. Connor Ben. Mm, Connor Ben. There's a lot of issues with Connor Ben, man. Um, I don't know. I guess... Um, I guess we'll put him to we'll put him at solid. I don't really know how to judge it because you know I mean everybody knows why I don't know how to judge it. You know we'll leave him at solid. <laughs> better be Ev. Better be Ev is um uh, listen. Better be Ev was elite at one time. I don't know if, if at this stage he can still be elite, but I'm gonna leave him at elite at the moment because he's just been a destroyer. But he could he's one of those elites that are teetering. He can go from elite to washed in one second. You know what I mean? He's at that age where it could, it could sometimes happen. So you're going to put him as great? Who? Yeah, I mean, a, yeah, I mean, no. He's, he's right now. I mean, who's, 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 he's, he's top of the game. at a, a, a He's on the pound for pound list, but he's away from being washed. Yeah. All right. Uh, be bold. Also elite or great, you know, whatever uh, elite, you know, top top level, top game. I think the uh, WBC are playing too much politics with his name, um, which I can't stand when when um when when this happens. Uh, I think he's one of the best fighters in the sport, and uh, should leave the politics to the politicians. <laughs> um, boots, boots, uh, promising, solid, promising. You know, I I think uh, let's go to. Yeah. You know what? He's already he's already showing on the problems. Let's put him at solid, and he's at solid. But um, you can't really put him at greater elite yet because he hasn't been given a chance to compete against kind of guys. 
Uh, we got uh, Bud. Bud is elite. I mean, guys like Bud and Benavides, I don't know, I don't know what is elite at that point, you know. Um, Bud is elite, and he's gonna be uh in the biggest fight in boxing this year. Um, uh, when we we finally have the fence fight, let's see what how how it plays out. Eubank Junior. Uh, I guess you you solid back for him as well. Solid. Are they, are they talking about uh, him and Connor Ben being going to uh, fighting again? I think that that was uh that was once again being discussed, right? Uh, I think it's in the works again, but uh, I mean we'll we'll see. That's been kind of a circus. Yeah. Uh, Canelo. Yeah. Canelo. Canelo is uh yeah I think Canelo still goes up there as elite. You know, I think he's, you know, we'll put him up there. I think he's trying to preserve his elite status by nitpicking stuff. But uh, I guess when you're uh, the, the cash cow business, you, you can you can do that. You know, we'll see. Uh, here we go. Um, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is, we're going to just leave him at solid. You know, we don't know how, how much Danny has left. Uh, he's, he's not the most busy guy at this point. And he's a little older. But, of course, he's been great, even elite at one point in his career. I think he still remains a solid, solid name in the sport and, and in the business. Uh, I think this is Fulton. I think this is, uh, yeah. Fulton. Uh, Fulton is solid as well. Fulton is solid as well. I mean, he's got a very, very big fight coming up with Inouye. I mean, uh, that guy could easily put him in the great or elite category if he wins that fight. But it's a very, very difficult fight. And Inouye has just been a destroyer. But, uh, you know, you expect Fulton to give him the – maybe possibly the best fight of his career. Again, then again, it's hard to match Nonito in in, uh, in the performance he gave in the first fight against Inouye, which was just a, a terrific fight. But, um, you know, we'll see. Fulton's a Philadelphia fighter. He's uh, – He's, you know, those guys are typically of that ilk where they, 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 they don't mind being in the grind, being in the trenches, and those kind of fights, and, and uh, they are skill, skill trench fighters, and not just trench fighters, skill trench fighters. And so, uh, you know, uh, let's see if Fulton can live up to that Philadelphia reputation because he's going to need it against a, a monster like Inouye. But right now, I think he's solid. We got Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is still elite. Still can't take him off the off his perch as the top heavyweight in the world. Tyson Fury is still elite. He's a he's a strange character, that's for sure. But he's uh certainly the best heavyweight in the world, I think. Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a I mean he's a great fighter. We'll put him up at great, you know. We'll put him up to uh, wouldn't say he's elite yet because I just don't think he's faced anybody uh, of consequence and the one guy he faced of consequence i thought he lost the fight but he's still your competitive lomachenko uh it's a good fight you you can you can hang at that level you know um he's a great fighter but i can't quite call him elite yet because you, you to get elite to be elite i think you need um you need to be that that scary boogeyman as well as being known you know he's known he's also skilled i don't think he's a boogeyman in any way because you know a boogeyman usually the one the guy who people don't want to fight, not the guy that he doesn't want to fight them, you know? So, um, I think, uh, I think, and, and of course you can, you can say you can give Canelo the same kind of criticism a lot of times, but Canelo has fought a lot of top guys already, you know, he's a little older. So, so we'll pull the Haney at great, um, with an eye towards elite, if he can pick up some elite wins. Nui. Who? Uh, no, yeah. Uh, oh, I said, no, you Oh, you know, you Yeah. Yeah. You know, is, uh, and you know, he's elite. And noise elite, and then again that that going back to that fighter Fulton coming up. Just run that why they do in the middle of the week in Japan. That's wild to me. They they are that close to whether it's a Saturday night or it's a Tuesday night. But I think that fight's on a Tuesday or Wednesday night in Japan, which means it's on a Tuesday or Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday morning here, um, or Wednesday Thursday morning here. I don't know, but either way, um, um. Terrific, terrific fighter, explosive, um, uh, can end the fight with one punch, great speed as well, uh, and boxes pretty well. I, I, I think uh, a really good fighter, and, and the Fulton fight is one I'm looking forward to. And again, that could uh, that that could go a long way into cementing his elite status or knocking him from his perch. We'll go back to back brothers here. We'll start with Jamal. 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 Jamal Charlo is solid. I think at one point I would have rated him as elite. I think Jamal is a, a, a 
a time terrific fighter, but he just hasn't been around. So how, how do you really rate a guy who hasn't been around? Um, I think he's interesting. And then his brother, Jamel. Jamel Zilli. Jamel unified the undisputed title, literally one by one, being all knocking off all the champions. Um, he's had a, a, a terrific run and, and then also has a, a great resume. And uh, he's, he is not in an easy weight class, man. That weight class, he, he, despite him knocking off all the contenders and champions, continues to produce other contenders and champions. This thing is no easy no easy task here to be the undisputed champion at a weight class that's this good. And, uh, of course, he's got Tim Zhu now waiting in the wings for his shot. And Tim Zhu is also going to be no picnic for him. Uh, Jojo. Jojo Diaz. Jojo is back in the mid level, you know. Um, Jojo's back in the mid level. I mean, uh, he's actually teetering by the washed content, you know. Um, again, I hate to call a fighter washed, but he's he's uh, one bad performance away from being washed. Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor. Josh is still solid. You know, uh, you can't call a guy a watch with the resume that he has off of one loss against a terrific, fight, a terrific fighter to like Tofima Lopez. Josh Taylor, for me, is a solid fighter who uh, is still uh, is still uh, capable of uh, of producing some some good things if he's focused. And I'm in, I'm curious about him at welterweight. Uh, looping off of that, uh, Teofimo. Teofimo's elite man. Teofimo's elite. He got himself a great win over Josh Taylor. Um. People keep writing him off, but Tofimo has a terrific resume at just 25 years of age. I don't know if he's going to fight again, but he's certainly elite already. George Cambosos. Cambosos. Um, do we have a mid yet? I mean, Cambosos is mid, bro. Yeah, Cambosos is mid. Um, he's got the. He's. I mean, he's got a terrific winning against Tofimo. I think the, the fact that Tofimo does better and better, it looks great. Cambosos because Cambosos has, has a win over him. But um, other than that, uh, Cambosos has a, has a very ordinary resume and, and couldn't win a round in, in 24 rounds of trying against uh, Devin Haney. So, I mean, and maybe won a couple of rounds, but nonetheless, uh, you, you get my drift. Um, he's uh, not been competitive at any other, at, at, at elite level. Other than that, uh, as people are still curious, I think, about George because of the win over Teofimo. And I think the win over Teofimo, the better Teofimo does, keeps making people more curious about him. I think George can be in a fun guy to watch against the right opposition. It's just unfortunately that the right opposition are all opponent type of high level fighters like, like Pitbull Cruz and guys like that. So you'll never see a Cambosis against a Pitbull Cruz because they're both the same category of fighters where they are uh, at an, at a, at a high level, but they they don't bring the, they don't have the, the backing to make them like an A side. So they're a high level B side. And so you never get two high-level B-sides fighting each other. So you never get those kind of matchups. I think Cambosos could be in some fun fights with the right guys, but unfortunately, he's going to supposed to beat them. And, and then they got to try to pull the upset like Cambosos did with Tofimo. Lomachenko. <clears throat> Lomachenko, um, solid. I mean, solid, but Lomachenko's, you know, almost got one foot out the door for me, you know. Um, I don't think – I don't think Haney would have even been – remotely competitive with the Lomachenko of a couple of years ago. Um, the fact that he was even competitive. I mean, I still, so again, I still think he lost, as does the whole world, except for a, a handful of Americans. Um, still, it makes it, um, you know, makes you realize he is getting older. So uh, I, I'd say he's solid, but I think he's more on the way down than on the way up. We'll see. Unless he goes to 130. But I still think at 130, you know, at, at his ideal weight, uh, he probably could bring home more world championships. Connie, Con Connor McGregor. Conor McGregor, no, Conor's watched. I mean, if that's not the definition of watch, who's going to be watched? <laughs> Again, you hate to call fighters watch, but the guy hasn't won a fight in like seven years, bro. <laughs> and, he fight, and it's not like he hasn't won a fight in seven years and he hasn't been active. He's been active. He fights every year. He gets his ass whooped literally every year. So it's like, I don't understand how, if that's not the definition of watched, I don't know what is watched. But uh, he certainly knows how to keep his name relevant um, one way or the other. Uh, so uh, Conor has a... Um, He's got a special trait because I, you'll never, ever see – you've never seen this before, and I don't think you'll ever see it again. Even in the social media age, it's, it's got to be tough, where you get the shit beat out of you constantly, and you have a reputation as not the guy who gets the shit beat out of him. He still got the reputation of being a tough guy, like a, a fighter, a tough guy, you know, people – you know, guy, a guy who's a um, – basically a fighter you know usually if you get the shit beat out of you constantly and you're and, and and you develop a reputation of anything your reputation is going to be that you get the shit beat out of you all the time but he's actually an interesting guy because he gets the shit beat out of him all the time 
and still has a reputation somehow publicly that he's a tough guy and he's a good fighter. So um, that in itself is, 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 is possibly the biggest accomplishment on this list. Uh, but nonetheless, the reality is that Conor McGregor is definitely washed. Uh, you're wrong, Polly. You, I think you might have missed something uh, f- a few weeks ago uh, when he beat up the mascot. Is- oh, man. You yeah, got his yeah, win. Yeah. Well, you got his win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knockout. I mean, I guess. I guess, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I question whether that mascot was really hurt, though. I mean, honestly, I think I feel like they gave that guy a couple bucks to say, hey, tell him he got knocked you out just so it makes us look good. I'm telling you, dude, this guy, Connor, is like everything is about his image. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be shocked if they paid that guy to say, you know, he, to say we sent you to the hospital or, or do a fake hospital trip. I'm telling you, it's, it's really Why? weird. Because he can't really the guy punch. Is like one of the, the guy's one of the strangest human beings. Like, no, not that he's gonna really punch because you know he can anybody, but it's like it's under the mascot thing. I don't even know if he hit him really in his head, and he hit the head of the mascot, which means like is your head in the mascot? Like I don't know. Like I, I've never worn one of those costumes. Like, and, and then it looked like he pulled the second punch back, and then it looks like he pulled the second punch back, dude. I mean, honestly, I think I think I wouldn't be shocked if if he if he didn't if he if he if he paid them if he paid the mascot and he paid the, you know, basically to say that he sent him to the hospital. Like, dude, I'm telling you, the guy's weird. The guy's one of the strangest human beings you're ever going to meet, bro. I mean, this guy gets his ass whooped every second and then still comes off as a tough guy. Like when you meet him, you know what I mean? Like he's like, he's with, with his shoulders all shrugged and everything. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's the biggest case of denial you'll ever meet in, human, one in the race, in the history of the human race. It's wild. So I'm telling you, he, he works hard at, at pushing this this uh, this level of denial and and by doing things like this, uh, if you notice the way he takes pictures and all this other stuff, he's always trying to look like the tougher guy in the picture, no matter who he takes a picture with, you know. Even if it's with a fan, you know, he's, he's a weirdo. Um, but um, yeah, so I wouldn't be shocked. I I think he's washed here. Yeah. Xander Zayas. Xander Zayas is very promising, but he's promising nonetheless. Can't can't, can't put him above promising yet because he hasn't been in, in in with any kind of competition that we're we're curious about yet, you know. Uh, but certainly promising, but he's very promising. Promising with an eye towards solid, great, and elite. Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker is one of those guys who's solid, but on the way down. You know, there's guys on this solid list. Is the solid list is the biggest list I have, but there's some solid guys who are solid on the way up, and there's some solid guys who are solid on the way down. Solid is sort of that that uh, fork in the road um, or that, um, that, that middle tier where – you know, guys kind of go to where they're, they they look good, but they're going to go, they're, they're high enough where they've reached that level or they're going to reach that le- higher level. But, you know, they, you got to pass the solid matchup either. You got to pass the solid point either way on your way up and then you're going to pass it on your way back down. Some of these guys are on the way up and some of these guys are on the way down. Joseph Parker's solid on the way back down. But again, if you're solid, you're in the mix to get those kind of big fights, which could put you at a higher level too if you manage to win one. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Um... I mean, I can't call him Wash because he's gonna keep winning, right? I mean, but then again, I don't know if he's promising because he's not gonna. He's we're ever gonna see Jake in a, in a major, major fight. He's a very marketable guy. Um, we'll put him at mid, I guess. You know, we'll put him at mid, and um, but I don't think we're gonna see him with anybody on this list. You know, I think Jake will uh, kind he's of. He's in his own category. Him. Like he's obviously yeah. not on, yeah. Yeah. Mar- on any Mar- of these Mar- guys' Mar- bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Mar- influence around. His own drum, and I think. Yeah, I think he'll march the beat of his own drum and he'll continue to get the wins against opposition that generally makes people curious, you know. And I and I think and I think that's what the 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 aura of Jake. Listen, he's the guy who can market himself, but he actually wins. You know, Connor markets himself, but he gets his ass whooped. So who's doing it better, right? I mean, I, I think I could easily see that fight uh, eventually happening. Um in the not too distant future, because Connor's a punching bag who becomes more of a punching bag every year. So he becomes more and more beatable, even for a Jake Paul every year. And I think Jake is improving every year. And so I think um, there's going to come a point where Jake's going to probably knock Connor out. And then well, Connor's, Connor Connor's fans will still make excuses for him like they still like they do every year. Let's go. Uh, Caleb, uh, Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is, um, I think Caleb's a great fighter. I think we're going to put him on great. You know, I, I I think he's a, a above solid, but he's not quite elite anymore. Um, I think uh, he's lost to get two guys who were on the elite level in Canelo and Benavides, so he's short. He's just short of that, but he's a great fighter, and I think he's above the solid rank. Regis Progress, champion at one forty. Regis, man, Regis is solid, but Regis is uh one one of those uh, enigmas. You just don't know uh, which way he's gonna go right now. He's not he's not the he's not the youngest guy, so people are gonna gun for him. Um. I mean, if anything, that's a guy that maybe like a, a Devin Haney should probably gone for as far as getting a trying to get a name on your resume 
that you might be able to beat without any controversy because uh, Progre is good. Uh, and uh, and Haney, but Haney's uh, kind of the guy who's ascending, and 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 Progre seems like the guy who's descending. So despite how solid Progre is, I think Haney could actually get a win where people, some people might actually think he won the fight this time. You know, um, it might be a it might fight to gun for for that Haney, but we'll see. Because uh, like I said, I, I'm still not jumping off my uh, Haney's with top rank situation, no matter what anybody says. I know what I heard, and um, if he is with top rank, he won't be able to fight Progre. Let's see. In that 140 division two, uh Rollies. Rolly. Rolly's solid. Rolly's solid. Rolly's a solid guy. He's a world champion. And uh I think he's solid with with a lot of marketability. So he'll he'll generate uh he'll put himself in a in a position to be be an opponent. But he but he probably would have lost the Brosso fight, unfortunately. But you know, that's uh that's politics for you. Just we constantly screw people in this business. Calm Smith. Callum is solid. Callum is definitely the epitome of solid because he could be on the way up or on the way down, depending on how his run at 175 goes. You know, he 168, he kind of peaked out and then he got beat by Canelo. It looked like he was on the way down, but he's done well at 175. And now the fight with Better Beav is really, really a terrific uh, kind of crossroads fight for these two. Um, I like it. And uh, it, it could make, it could put, I think if Callum beats Better Beav, he could go into the great category, but I wouldn't quite put him in the elite category because Better Beav is a guy who's, Elite going on watched and not to the distant future because of his age, you know. So you could see that as uh maybe a uh flip turn fight for bed for uh art for yeah. Art. I mean, yeah, listen, that, that's not a I think you still favor better beer, but it's not that one that easy to call, you know. What I mean, like Callum Callum is liable to beat better be Evan and, and Cal and that would look great for Canelo, by the way, because uh, Canelo um uh has a good win over, over Callum Smith, Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is solid. Andy Ruiz is solid. Um, and he can also, uh, he can probably uh, continue to, you know, he, he's one good win away from, you know, being great or elite himself. I mean, he's been up there. Um, I think he's solid. Depends on how hungry he is. Gary Russell. Gary Russell. I mean, Gary Russell. Which, the, the featherweight champion, Gary Russell? Gary or, Russell. Uh, the brother, they're all there. I'm going to call Gary. Junior? I think this is Junior. Yeah, so I mean, we're all Gary Russell Jr. But if it's the featherweight, I think Gary the featherweight is um, mid to wash. I'll leave him at mid, but you know, because um, we you know we haven't seen him totally get annihilated, so we can't say he's washed. But but he's um um he's certainly mid, uh, and then going on the way down from what I can see. Ryan Garcia. Garcia is promising. Still, you know, uh, I think he'll he'll remain promising. Can't say he's solid yet because he hasn't really got any key wins at his own weight class. He's beaten some guys who've come up in weight um, uh, from lower weight classes, and they were shot at the lower weight classes. So let alone how they looked at his own weight class, like that would be a fortuna. But but um, he just laid too much of an egg against in the Javante fight. That was a that was a major egg he laid. So I, I can't put him at solid. Uh, up in my promising though, he's still young and he's got a lot of marketability. Mr. Kerr Stevenson. Shakur is great. Can't put him at elite yet. Um, because I don't know if he's accomplished enough to be elite, but I think he's great. And I think uh in the next year, Shakur Stevens may move to elite depending on how they move him. They give him the chances to become an elite. Essentially, that's all it comes down to is if Shakur is in position to become elite. Because I, if he's put in position to become elite, I think he will become elite. Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is great as well. Um, and he came up short with Fury, but Fury is elite. Uh I think uh, Wilder's a great fighter, and I think uh, uh, he'll. I think Wilder's going to continue to remain dangerous, and 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 somebody to deal with for a couple, another couple of years. Uh, great fighter. Spence. Uh, Errol Spence, elite. Errol Spence is elite. That's Crawford is elite. That's why that fight is the biggest fight of the year. Spence and Crawford, regardless of the fact that it might be late, still a terrific fight. Uh, Spence has been elite. He's cleaned out the welterweight division for the most part, and uh, he's looking for uh, the last fight at welterweight so that, that to uh, to basically cement his status and legacy for the, uh, in his division. Uh, he's elite. Javante Davis. Javante Davis is also elite. We're getting not, we're, we're into that elite category. John Davis, pay per view star, uh, uh, certainly uh, has looked better and better, and uh, looks the part in, in in a lot of ways. Elite fighter. And 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 mind you, mind you, I think Shakur beats Javante head to head. But what I'm talking about, elite, is also there's a lot of star power involved in, in being called elite, and and Javante has that. Usyk. 
Usyk is uh, elite. I mean, uh, he may not have the star power of some of these guys, but he's got so many top-level wins. I mean, he cleaned out the cruiserweight division. Now he got three of the four major heavyweight titles. Uh, he is an elite fighter, if, if, if you can def- define it as elite. Uh, Tim Tzu. Tim Tzu. Tim Tzu is, uh, oh, I'd say, promising to solid. I'd say, I'd say promising right now. But I think he's got a, uh, I mean, I, I really think he's a real threat to Jamel Charlo. It's a good fight. Uh, so Tim Zhu is promising, potentially could go all the way as high as great or elite really, really quickly if he's able to unseat Charlo. But um, it's a really good fight. I like that fight. Then we got Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman. We're going to put him at solid. We're going to put him at solid. But um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much, how hungry Keith, Keith is. I don't know how much he's got left in terms of staying hungry. So we'll see. Keep him at solid. Ugas. Ugas. I mean, Ugas broke his orbit ball and hasn't come back. We're going to put him at mid right now. I mean, because we don't know where he's at, but coming off the injury and then and the uh, basically 14, 15 month layoff. Uh, Shad Howard. Who? Shad Howard. Shad Howard? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, Where's he from? You fought him, um, and you're. Bro, anybody I fought first of all should be on this list because that means we're all. Old. <laughs> <laughs> what no. did I play Shad Howard? Uh, Antonio oh, Young. I think I do remember that was. I remember Shad Howard. He fought a couple. He fought a couple of uh, of us when we were prospects. A couple of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shad Howard. Uh, he was actually a. Uh, he was a nice guy, Shad Howard. I don't, I don't know if he belongs in this list, though. I think, I think anybody from that generation, we're all washed together from at this point. What about uh, Rocky Martinez? Rocky, there's been a couple. I fought a Rocky Martinez, and it was a world champion for Puerto Rico, Rocky Martinez. The Rocky Martinez I fought was from Ch- a Mexican from Chicago. Which Rocky Martinez are we talking about? We're talking, talking about the one that you guys. used. I'm, I'm just looking at your uh, at your box track. <laughs> I was going to say uh, Thaddeus oh. Parker. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely, he's, they don't have a category for him. That was my pro debut, guys. It's coming <laughs> out, bro. In 23 years, 20, no, 22 years. 22 years oh, yeah, 7-7. Seven, seven. Unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. What? How, how time flies. Uh, okay, well, we'll end on these two. We'll as, do... as a matter of fact, it's been longer. It's been longer since my pro debut than it was that I was alive at my pro debut. Because I was only 20 years old at my pro debut. Oh, wow. And now it's been 22 years since my pro debut. And, wow, uh, wow, that's uh, that's I mean, almost been. you got yeah. you got 18 years on me, so <laughs> I guess I'm yeah. closer to your pro debut. I was born, wow, I'm not even gonna try to do the math. Uh, Oscar Valdez, Valdez is uh, mid, that's probably mid. I mean, yeah, I don't know, I don't know where, where he goes from here. He's got a great, he got a good win over Blue Nose, um, over Adam Lopez, right? But mm-hmm. he's uh, he's, uh uh, he's still mid. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know like about this. He, he would have knocked him out if he was still solid, you know? I, I feel like he could have got the stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would say we would have mid. Virgil. Ortiz. Virgil is solid. Uh, Virgil's solid. I mean, Virgil's a, a guy who's solid on the way up, but he can't really put him uh, at greater elite because he doesn't have the, the name opposition quite yet. He's got some decent opposition, though, already, you know? Yeah. Um. Like Kavalioskis and whatnot. And Stanionis is going to be a tough opposition as well. But keep him at us solid right now. All right, we got two more. Who do we Demetrius got? Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade is, I mean, again, he's another solid one. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where he's going. I mean, <laughs> he can't seem to get a, a big fight. <laughs> Demetrius, is, Demetrius is never quite goes away because he's been, he's been so good and nobody wants to fight him. And he can't really gauge if he's got anything left or not, you know? So. Um, still a, a solid fighter. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is it, they don't have a status. Beetlejuice is elite to the tenth power. Beetlejuice beat is high level elite, high level elite, and that never changes no matter what generation we're in. That guy, uh, that guy's like he was like what was it right? Like um, oh, fifteen out was seventy five. Fifteen out was fifteen out was seventy five knockouts or fifteen out was seventy knockouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. yeah absolutely. Where'd you put uh, the round the soft? Where where would you put Paulie Malnagi? 
It depends what year of my career. I mean, <laughs> I was, I, depends depends what year we're talking about. All right, let's but, say 2010. 2010, uh, I fell off, so I would just be solid because I, I I fell. I, some people would have called me washed or no, after 11, a contract. Say, and then the Shashenko fight. 11, said, 11, I'd, 11, I'd say solid. 12, I'd say great. I don't know if, if they'd ever put me in elite, but I, I'd say. You would, you, know, never, um, you would never put yourself in elite. You'd probably cap yourself out of great. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because I think elite also, if you don't have all of those great wins, you got to at least have, have the marketability. I think I had that. I just don't think I, I was ever taken advantage of. But nonetheless, it was never to that degree. I think I, I kept myself at great at the best part of my career and in the best moments of my career. Anybody we missed probably that you'd uh, like to put on this list? David Morell. Morell, I like him. I think he's a great fighter. Morell, and I think uh, Benavid is ducking him. Uh, David Morell. And he would be in what category? Uh, great. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, this so is a great show. Little, so I, I like um, I like Morel at, 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 at great. Oh, uh, one anybody last, else we missed? Uh, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, I don't know. What are they doing? <laughs> took all the watch because they were never there, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Six rounds head to head. Um, who? Yeah, who, who wins? You, you mean? Who wins? I don't know. It depends what kind of fight. Listen, I've seen that Zuckerberg does some MMA. He does some jujitsu, so I, he's probably solid with that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know about Musk's uh, fighting abilities. I, I I've never seen him train or anything. I at least have seen footage of Zuckerberg doing jujitsu. So I don't know. Maybe maybe Zuckerberg gets a little bit of a of an advantage here. I don't know. I mean, if there's, I mean, if I feel like if Elon has, if there's no testing and there's not a weight limit, I feel like if Elon gets some access to some of the SpaceX yeah. Tesla stuff. Some energy yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he might be able to get into... access to stuff that you can't even. He might be able to get access to stuff you can't even test for. How's yeah, that, no. that sounds. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I would love I, to I see the fight. I've seen him. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen Zuckerberg footage training. So he actually does train. So I, for, at the moment, I can only go by what I've seen, what I know. I got Zuckerberg. Are you putting your name out there uh, to announce if they ask? Would you do it? Announce what? Zuckerberg versus Yo. Yo. Yo, Paul. Would I do what? Commentate it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you hear me? Yeah. yeah. You hear me? Yeah. 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 Would I do what? Commentate it? Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I'd commentate it. Why not? <laughs> I'll, I'll commentate. The, I'll commentate the Wayne's fighting. I, 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 that's what I do. I commentate fights. I don't fight anymore, but I do commentate. <laughs> I would love to see it. I'm sure uh, the fans would love to see it. And uh, we are putting out our bid next week on the fight. Uh, we'll broadcast it on Poly TV. Uh, Zuckerberg versus Musk. I'm calling it the Silicon Showdown. Uh, any final thoughts? I mean, boxing is kind of dead. Not dead right now. It's sleeping. Uh, we got boots. I mean, no. I think I think there's some. Month. I think there's. A, I think. No, I think we got a good summer coming up for boxing. I think there's uh, some good shows coming up. And so uh, we're going to keep talking boxing and keep analyzing boxing. I thought Regis looked a little subpar in his win uh, mm -hmm. the other uh, the other week. but um, And I thought uh, Derevianchenko got robbed against Mungia, but it was a good fight. And we still got a new E. Fulton, too. We got a new what? We got a new E. in Fulton. A new E. in Fulton's in the summer. Spencer Crawford's in July. I mean, July's a... It was kind of full with some good, some good fights. And Pro Box TV, don't forget, we're on every other Wednesday live. Every other Wednesday night on ProBoxTV.com. Check us out. That's what I do. I commentate fights with Mike Goldberg <laughs> and Chris Algieri. So our next show is actually uh, next week, the 28th. And every two, every two weeks, literally every two Wednesdays, we are live boxing. Every two Wednesdays on ProBoxTV.com. Well, well, thanks, Polly. We did this. Uh, sorry about the connection. It, there's going to be some connection issues on this, guys. Sorry, Polly's in London. I'm in California. Yeah, it's a you, it's a lot. It's a long way to go. It's a long ways from uh, from being uh, you know right next to one another talking. So you might as well thanks be in the to summer, uh, thanks to know. the technology, we can do it. But then again, it's a long ways distance away. <laughs> All right. All right. Ciao, Polly. All right, Polly.